Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome. It's Nurse Richard, the Lax Wizard. Thank you for joining me. Um, it's a relatively straightforward um, procedure today, two ears, uh, no less satisfying, nonetheless. Um, I suppose I would call these your bread and butter removals um, because, you, you, as you've seen in the videos, you get all kinds of weird and wonderful and strange and unusual and sometimes serious conditions. Most of the time, it's nothing more complicated than an ear full of earwax, very similar to this. <clears throat> um, and I would say this is fairly typical of the consistency I probably see um, more than most. It's a fair bit of skin, um, fair bit of wax. It's soft-ish, not too hard-ish, just right. Um, <clears throat> but it, um, it, it kind of does not all come out in one, one piece. That's, that's the ideal. That's the one that you want to turn up. Uh, having said that, you do feel like a bit of a fraud sometimes <laughs> when someone's literally been sat in the chair for 30 seconds and they're easily clear. But I say, listen, it takes as long as it takes, doesn't it? You can't, uh, you can't plan these things. It's not my fault you've got perfect earwax. Um, but they, these are fairly standard. So yeah, I'd, I'd call these the bread, bread and butter uh, type of removals. You still, I still get a few that turn up with, uh, with, with nothing in there. Um, some are, are just curious <laughs> because they've seen me about and they were just often wondering if they've had a problem uh, or if it's selective like it is with a lot <laughs> mostly men as I've said before in many other videos um, uh, some women do get selective hearing as well believe it or not uh, it's quite rare though yeah, so you, you won't come across many of them um, but um, it, I don't think it, it oil this at all and I remember the reason why now I forget until I actually see it because you can see the, uh, the the skin of the uh, of the ear canal, it's, it's quite clearly defined. It's easy to work work your way around in there and know what's what. Um, and it hadn't been oiled because I don't think he was uh, actually expecting uh, to have the procedure done. The only reason why um, why we had a look because I think he came with his wife, uh, and his wife's problem wasn't 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 too bad. We quickly cleared that up, and uh, she said. As a lot do, if they come with someone else, I will always ask him back and have a look in the other person's ear. And she said, "Can you have a look in his ear as well? Because uh, he's, uh, he's he never listens to me. He just says he's he's getting he's getting hard of hearing just because he's a little older. Uh, it obviously, can be the case sometimes. But uh, he was uh, happy and slightly mortified in the same sense that we actually found this <laughs> and fixed it because he said, oh, "I'm going to have to listen to her again now." Um, <clears throat> a few chaps do say that a lot, <laughs> in fact, uh, and as I always tell them, keep the receipt, keep the receipt, I'll put it back in, <laughs> if you want me to. Um, I haven't actually done that, just before anyone puts it down in the comments, you, you, you've never done that, have you? No, of course I've not. Um, but uh, yeah, you can't get away with nothing now, you can't get away with nothing, you can, uh, anything, any jobs that she's asking him to do. You just can't ignore her anymore, no, I'm afraid. Well, he could, but I'm sure she won't be too happy about that because he's got no excuses now because he noticed a, a remarkable difference, as you can probably imagine, with having this um, in one ear. And I think the other was, was quite similar as well. Um, so you can, you can see why. This is kind of why that we don't always prefer that it's oil beforehand. Um, sometimes I'd, I, I advise people to maybe just do a couple of days, see this is a bit wetter here. And he hadn't oiled this either, one was just a little bit wetter than the other. Um, um, yeah, because a, a lot do say, the old fashioned advice used to be put uh, olive oil in for a fortnight before you come and see anybody. Uh, and unfortunately the doctors are still giving out that advice here. Um, even though it turns it into a big sloppy mushy mess, uh, makes it harder to get out. But that, that used to be the advice uh, for the uh, public health um, services. Um, which was obviously mostly uh, irrigation, and yes, it can help if that's softer. Um, but for, for my construction, I, I generally, a cu couple of days at the most, if they've already been doing it for a while, I'll tell them to stop before they come and see me. Because if, it, if it's not worked by then, it, it's not gonna. So I tend to just prefer that they just leave it well alone, and if, if we think it needs um, any oil to help us get it out, uh, then we will do. You do get the odd one that's like an absolute brick um, and that n no amount of persevering will, will get it out. That, 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 I'll be honest, that's really rare. I would say maybe one person every three to six months needs to come back for a second appointment. 
because it's just it literally too solid as a brick and so it does need to be a little bit softer before it can be got out uh, comfortably anyway because when it's rock hard sliding it uh, out the air canal can be, can be quite uncomfortable sometimes uh, so we, 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 sometimes I don't even attempt it if I just look at it and I can see that it's completely filling the ear no gaps around it and it's just rock solid I might have a quick go but it, it usually becomes pretty clear pretty quickly if it needs to be softer even even just putting uh, some oil in during the procedure um, is not enough like I said those ones are rare uh, but it doesn't happen it does happen every now and then um, I, I don't charge any of two appointments just in case anybody was wondering <laughs> <laughs> so whether it takes one or it takes ten, um, it would still be the same. Um, no one's ever took ten. Uh, like I said, it's only a couple of times a year that it actually happens anyway. Um, so I think we're near the end of this. I can't remember off the top of my head what number this is. I think it might be two, nine, seven or eight. Someone will correct me when I'm wrong. I don't know until I actually upload it and count them. Um, I'll have a look at the, the previous one uh, I recorded anyway. I think I think it's 297 so yeah we're, we're not far away so you're only a week away from episode 300 there's going to be all sorts in there as you know it'll be uh, two parts one procedure and one bit more of an entertainment thing going on <laughs> I think you'll already have figured out um, what have I got in that procedure uh, in those procedures I think we've got some fungus got some keratosis uptrans some cholesteatomas bit of everything so stay tuned for that I'm pretty sure that you're going to enjoy it um, as you can see this one it was a little softer so it did leave a few little smears all over the place um, I got a couple of the bits that were bothering me but the rest of it I can be just left it's just a little bit of stain you need a little bit in there um, as we know it's good for you a bit of scarring on that eardrum too anyway I hope you enjoyed that uh, but for now take care of yourself I'll see you soon ta -da.